Hey everyone, so in case if you're wondering what type of video this is going to be, this is something a little different than usual. Over the last week, I participated with Corsair in their Save the Children charity campaign. And as part of that campaign, I decided to host a small community tournament with my Twitch subs. We had four teams sign up to face off against each other, with the winning team taking home a Siege Chibi each. And to showcase the tournament, I decided to make a highlight reel with some of the funniest and best moments of the tournament. So that is what this video will be. Enjoy. Alright. I think uh, they call that the intimidation tactic. If the enemy doesn't know what the fuck you're doing as Monty, you know, how are they going to respond? Oh, Glass going for the super long angle. He could actually maybe get a pick here. If that dock peaks again. If he shoots through the wall right now, a little bit to the right, he could get a kill. Oh, and Doc has a little bullet hole he's peeking through. But wait, Buck has the diffuser, and Buck's below. Oh, they're waiting. <laughs> Hannah did not realize she had the diffuser, and Jordan was just waiting for her to realize it. Because they are ready to go for the plant. Glass is all the way in the back, just waiting for one opportunity to snipe. Nomad also waiting. Oh, they managed to get the kill onto Doc through the wall. He's trying hard. He manages to fireball himself. He managed. Oh, Jordan. She fireballed off the entrance where Monty has to push in through. And she's going to plant in front of Monty. And Monty's trying to get past her. <laughs> the plant is denied because Monty was behind the diffuser. <laughs> Their whole plan is just starting to crumble bit by bit here. Now that is the type of coordination you would expect in Pro League. Becca with the double. <laughs> Glass is still all the way out here. He's ready. Someone's running out. He doesn't realize it. Oh, he gets the kill. Jordan actually gets a Claymore kill as well. It's a 2v1 now. Wow. Okay, that actually worked out in their favor. But it's Pulse Shotgun. Diffuser's way behind Monty. Monty has no idea that Pulse is there from the looks of it. Glass is coming in with 30 seconds left. Monty's gonna have to like put down his shield to try to block Pulse. Oh, he now realizes where he is. Pulse just has to kill Glass. He kills Glass and he wins. Oh. But Monty distracts with dropping the shield. Somehow manages X Clan manages to win out that round after that debacle with the Monty Capitao plant. Nomad watching through the hallway gets Vigil as well. Ella gets taken down. Now they're gonna go for the cluster charges from above. Let's see if Maestro gets picked off. He does not. He's gonna get out of there. They have a full hold on their flank. But no one on sight. I mean, if Fighter Jet waits it out, they could maybe just wait out for the plant and then win just from there. Fuse is dead, means no more cluster charges. Cav is still roaming by east stairs, and is that Nomad heading over there? No. That is Finca. Nope, it's Hibana. I am a bad caster. Yeah, as long as they wait on sight, I think they could hold this. Jaeger, oh, he's right behind Nomad. He doesn't even know. Nomad doesn't even know. Oh. That was a nice flank from Jaeger. That somehow panned out in his favor. Cav's going for the upstairs flank. Could possibly get the first interrogation. He just needs to land the shot. He does not. All three still upstairs, though. 1v3, but it is Maestro. 81 bullets, by the way. They're funneling into sight. Maestro's got to know this. I think he has a turret set up there. Bonna going for the plant. Maestro's pushing in. Misses Thatcher being chased. Oh, gets Hibana. Where's Finca? Finca's... Finca's gotta push in. Oh! Maestro with the quad kill clutch. And gets the diffuser. Remember when I said 81 bullets? 
81 bullets, by the way. Didn't even use like 40 of them. Oh, they're rushing. They are full rushing. I heard that, Finka. Ooh, but they're ready for it. They got two people watching metal stairs. Oh, they're still on the staircase, though. Line with the shotgun, but no attachments. That's going to be a little hard to control. Ooh, Hibana tries to go for the kill. Gets destroyed by Echo. Thatcher's pushing in. That, that barricaded window right there has fucked over all three of the people trying to push in. Leon with the quad. Jordan finishing off Toxic. That barricaded window stopped three of them from pushing in. Hibana, Thatcher, and Finca. They all tried to jump in through that window and all got destroyed. Jaeger's coming for the flank. Echo is down. Hibana manages to down him. Oh, but Jaeger saves Echo. Oh, and gets the double. But it is technically a 1v2 situation. Which... I think lagged pretty hard there, if I had to guess. And does not get the kill on Tamira. Thing is that IQ could easily pick off Echo if he goes on his drones. I don't know if that's what Patrick's planning on doing, but <laughs> as soon as Echo goes on his... Yokai's? Ooh. IQ could spot her. Does not matter. Looks like they're either just gonna finish off with the kills on... Oh, yeah, on Bandit. I was say, they could go for the plant, but in a 5v1 situation, really don't need to. Oh. What the... The fuck? Patrick... I told him specifically not to use hacks this tournament, and he promised me that he wouldn't. And what do we see? Fucking hacks. What they could try to do is an unconventional take where they go through piano instead and just smoke that out and plant since both echo drones are on B site. The master's sitting up in there waiting for them. Picks off Sophia. This could be it. There could be... Could go for the pre-fire kill. Fails. Oh, he could go for the ace. Ace time. Gridlock's pushing it through the exact same doorway. Oh, oh he manages to deny the ace on Astro. He has nine seconds left. Has to go for the plant. Both people on site. I don't... Oh, they didn't hear it. They didn't hear the plant going down. Ow. And it does not matter. Gridlock gets destroyed. Going for the defuse. Team Avocados takes the first map. Maybe we won't see a 4-0. We have two people hold up in construction. Jordan has one HP. The only one on site is... Anna, aka Violet Casino, aka Frost, stuck in bathroom with the fireball. <laughs> she, she does not know what to do. I think if uh, Jet Fighter 1 were to smoke out the site, they could possibly go for a plant. Maestro is the only one who can really stop them, and he is not in a very good position. Ooh, he actually manages to take out Capitao. Somehow. I don't know how they let him get away with that. Oh. And now he's punished. Hannah's still sitting in the bathroom. Jordan on the other side of the map while the rest of the attackers just pushing through Jim. Oh, they managed to pick her off. Last one is in bathroom. Maverick decides to go for the camera instead. Gets frost matted <laughs> in the process. Oh. And they managed to trade Thermite and Frost. She did manage to trap someone, you know, add, add another one to the kills. Where's Capitown? This should be... Oh, he's already there. I couldn't see him because of the diffuser symbol. Let's say if they uh, try to go for a smoke plant, could work out. Legion's sitting by cool vibes. Oh, with a lot of goose set up there. Never mind, that is not going to work out. IQ could come around and try to get rid of all of them, but it looks like she's... Busy going through kitchen. She might be looking for the vigil. Might have seen it on the scanner and now is trying to hunt him down. Oh, they're gonna go for the firebolt play. 
try to block him off while also going for the plant, maybe. The issue is all those goos. There's no way they're going to be able to make it in without hitting at least two of them. Oh, oh, Legion saw the head, but he missed. He's got another group in hand as well. He can just keep throwing them and throwing them. There's nothing they're going to be able to do about pushing in here unless they bring the IQ around. Who is still on the other side of the map looking for that vigil. He smoked it out. Cool. Taking that goo damage. I was Legion getting one through the smoke. Probably going to get another here. Going for the planter. Hits the... <laughs> The bench with the impact, they managed to finish off Capital, but IQ came in with the flank. Oh, up cool vibes with the triple kill. Last two are on the other site. This is looking pretty good for X Clan. Rook's trying to push in through billiards, but Glass is right on that window. He's right there, and Glass gets the kill. I am honestly surprised. I thought that was going to go 100% the ways of avocados. With all those goos there, I am shocked that they didn't get the kill. They were also marking where Capitan was planting. They could have shot through the bench, but they let that plant go off. Oh, grenade from above. I don't, oh, no, they have the ADSs. They should be fine. Oh, it's two grenades wasted on Buck. Pretty detrimental. Capitan's trying to go for the goose, it looks like. <laughs> There's nothing there. Oh no, he actually did get one. I'm blind. He's better than me. Oh. He's, I don't think he is knows that Ben's there. I think he was just pre-firing through the red. Or through the bench, trying to get to blue. Oh, he sees his feet. But he doesn't realize it, that he's still there. Legion manages to barely get out. Has four goo traps here. One Thatcher grenade just completely eliminates them. But there's no more EMPs left. I don't know how Legion managed to survive there for so long. But he did. And that's Maverick taking out Jaeger from a long angle. All the way in Sunrise. That is Mir again taken down. Echo and... Oh no, Rook's roaming as well. He's in blue bar. Oh, he looked right at Maverick. Maverick takes him out. Not looking good. It is time for 1v4 clutch again. Hannah, last one left alive. For like the 10th time. Thatcher's about to push in through here. I mean, she gets the kill on Thatcher. It could make it a little bit more doable. Oh, he just ran in. He ran in past Echo. And one guy manages to claymore himself. Oh my god. Echo kills out Thatcher after... Thatcher just runs right past Maverick. Claymoring himself because he tried to get Echo through that hole. But Echo walked away as soon as it happened. Oh, he gets the flick. Thermite's on the counter. Oh, that actually was so close. Hannah almost won it out for her team. Oh, they're going for the plant already. Echo should be able to stop this. Oh. They got off the plant. I'm assuming the C4 scare? Oh, the C4 already went down. They can waste so much time with this just because it's a seven second plant. Each defuse attempt is seven whole seconds. But they managed to dis... Disrupt the yokai, and Mira's gonna try to go in, try to stop the plant. Oh, it stops it. All Echo has to do is just wait for the drone to come back up, and he can stop the next plant. As long as Zofia doesn't just push right in and kill everyone. He's doing it. He's gonna wait. Oh, he still has one more burst. As long as... Oh, Blackbeard got the drone. Oh, he stops it. He stops the plant. They actually managed to win because of Echo. Oh, they're doing it. I don't know what the fuck just happened. There we go. They are going to go for the lobby rush. Oh, yeah. They're doing it. The Jordan orchestrated vault rush. 
They don't have a pulse, so they're not going to know that they're all there. But it looks like Echo is aware. He's aiming at the drop. He's ready for this. And they have Legion and Valkyrie waiting here as well. Oh, that's the triple kill from Patrick with one C4. I'm sure that felt amazing. He is... He's just going for it. Not droning, not checking anything, just going straight for sight. I mean, I'm sure they will not be expecting this. And they won't be. He takes out Castle. 30 seconds into the round, they were not wait ready for it. Hibana runs through Capcan Trap, takes some damage. Now they're just waiting at this doorway. Ooh, the Finca revives, something you rarely see. What they should be trying to go for is the... Oh. Interesting uh, Hibana push. Let's say someone just hiding in closet can easily stop that. They take out Patrick. Not looking good. It's a 5v1 situation for Bandit. Bandit takes the kill from Capcan. But he is completely surrounded. Diffuser's down in front of him. He just has to watch it. The issue is behind. Oh. <laughs> he just goes full panic. And gets taken down by Zofia. But it looks like four-man rush through blue. Nook going straight up. Leon going for the hop reach. Probably trying to distract him a little bit. Oh. He's going to get... He... All right. He managed to hit a shot onto... Nook. I can't even keep up with this. Everyone's just fucking dying. Patch with the triple. Oh, gets downed. Jordan takes him out. One person down on the floor. It's a 2v1 though. Jordan has to kill both Jaeger and Bandit. And Jaeger is right behind her on the staircase. Oh, he's going to the window. Oh, but the window's barricaded. Bandit, not too sure where Jordan is. It's just holding through a wall. Spraying. Jordan manages to get the triple. Bandit, where are you looking? Bandit looking a little antsy to push up. Oh, she gets the kill! That was, was that a, yeah, 3v1? Well, with one down, technically 2v1. The rush works two rounds in a row. Bandit. Because with the impenetrable walls, it's not that hard to, uh, to push in. Capcan with that questionable C4 attempt. Gets stuck. Oh, Capcan's pushing up. Monty's trying to box him out. They take down Capcan. Is Capcan... Oh, they saw her. They know Cav's up there. I think that's... Nope, they're just going for the rush plant. I think that was Finca watching the flank. Oh, Finca misses the fact that Jaeger's... Or... What's the name? Legion's just sitting right there in the middle of the room. Oh, they didn't even get the plant down. Legion's about to push up on IQ and they just crumble. That looks so promising for a bit. I don't know why they stopped the plants as well. But they only have 24 seconds left in a 3v3 situation, 2v3 situation. Depending on where they try to plant, this could be very easy for X Clan to win. Looks like they're going for the flank. But Twitch is still in. Oh, Twitch doesn't notice. Goes down. They're in the corners. They get the double. Plant is going down. Never mind. Get off the plant. Thatcher lands the one shot, but doesn't get what's needed. Frost was down as well. That was a 1v1. Oh, if. I'm gonna say if she throws that C4 quickly across the right, she would easily be able to get the kill into Thermite. Valkyrie with the flank, but being followed, it looked like. Oh, no. Twitch is just rotating over to the window to watch. Patrick, this Twitch main, ever since uh, Ash lost her ACOG, all he plays is Twitch. The Monty, Monty, though, is menacing. He has the Diffuser, so they can't plant. That is a kill onto Frost from Thermite. If x -Plan plays this right, honestly, this is an easy win for him. They just have to wait it out. Ooh, the early C4. That's a little rough. That's uh, the last C4 on site. Leon still has one, but... 
He's coming in for the flank. Oh, that's a kill on the Patrick. Oh, a not a kill, a down, sorry. But he does manage to get two of them. I think Becca is down as well. This is not looking good for them. Now it's a 3v2 with two of them being pretty fucking weak and one of them being Patrick with the Twitch drone who's going to maybe down me right here. No, he does not. Oh, the flank of a sentry. Oh, as soon as he looks away from the connector, Twitch pushes back and they win it. That is avocados being your champions. x put up a really good fight. I think those flanks onto Bakery were absolutely stellar. Very close one. Doggo is going to conduct an interview real quick while I set it up. Hi, Patrick. Welcome to the interview. Hello. All right, Hi, now Patrick. Let's, uh, set up. Hi, Doggo. I'll get Danielle to choose so, the map bands. I saw in that last match you, uh, you didn't go off as hard as you have in previous matches. What was going on in your head? Well, you know, I was, uh, I was getting your shit done, you know? Ah, okay. Huh? Fair. I, I respect well, you for being so well, straight up about also, it. Also, you know, you know me, getting tired after playing and carrying so much. You know? Oh, you wanted to give the other people a chance to shine, huh? First spin, spin. Mm, yeah, you know, gotta, gotta show respect for the, you know. Wow, very honorable, very chivalrous. Yeah. So I saw that at the start of the match you were really going for that that cav interrogation. What made you stop with your uh, with your drive? Well, I ended up on that attack, and uh, you know I was playing like shit. Ah, <laughs> good answer. You can't go cav on attack. Silly exactly. me. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the highlights. I did just want to take a moment to ask you guys for some feedback on this type of video and also for the tournament overall. I do plan on doing more tournaments in the future and I just want to hear from you guys what you think will improve the viewing experience. Just so you know before you comment some suggestions, my current plan changes are I will be adding a co-host in the future and possibly adding someone to use the spectator controls while me and the co-host talk about what's happening. And another change is I'll also plan on opening up to more higher rank players so we can have some more competitive play. But any other suggestions or feedback you'd like to leave, please leave them down below in the comments. I will read through all of them and try to answer as many as I can. Also, I do still have some more footage from this tournament that I could make into an additional video if you guys are interested. After the four teams matched up, we did have one more match showcasing the mod team versus the winning team. And I have all of that footage if you guys want to see more. So again, let me know down below if you want to see more. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.